Okay, so the deal with the boss order with Mega Man X3 is uh, eventually you have to fight uh, a couple of guys named Bit and Bite. And when you fight Bit and Bite, you want to have uh, weapons that are that are capable of blowing them up permanently, uh, so that you don't have to fight them in the boss stages, and that allows you to pick up uh, some extra goodies. So uh, you always want to start out with uh, Blizzard Buffalo uh, and Tunnel Rhino, because uh, those give you the the weapons that will uh, blow them up. But Blizzard Buffalo also has uh, leg attachments, uh, and it's also the good place to uh, grind for energy uh, when you need to. Uh, and it gives you a sub tank, so I'll be showing you how to grind for energy uh, in a game where it's notoriously difficult to do that. So, here. Stuff. You have to carefully slide on the, the ice, uh, especially the downward slopes, it'll create some momentum for you. So that right there, part right there is sort of tricky. Right. And you can see this metal part right here. So you'll notice I'm going into what looks like it should be uh, sort of a, a place where a boss would be, and that's where, you know, if Bit and Bite were in that stage, uh, I would be fighting them right now. But just going to go through the level here. Uh, and as with some of the previous X games, uh, the boss order you fight uh, kind of will change some of the level stuff. I'm not sure which boss it is, but those lights will be turned off if you so I want you to notice up here the energy tank. We'll be coming back for it as soon as we have the link attachments. that one a couple of times. Uh, just get, getting the proper dash off of that's uh, a little tricky. Right. And then there's actually two sets of upgrades in this game. Uh, there's uh, the regular four armor pieces, uh, and then there's orange chips for each of the slots. Uh, now if you pick up the orange chips in the stages, you're only allowed three of them. But if you hang on and wait till the, the last level, you can get uh, a hyper chip that counts for all four slots. Oh, and you see I was frozen in place there by one of the slutty guys. Uh, you gotta be careful when they shoot something that ice. Here we are at the boss. Um, so again, we're going to do the, the regular strategy that works in uh, most of the bosses in the Mega Man X series, where you get on the wall, uh, let the boss dash to you, then hit the other wall. So we got him there. Come down. Hit him with another shot. Careful when you hear. 
hear that charging sound he's doing that thing and that'll free you into tracks. You see, it's taking a lot of energy out of it. Um, gotta be careful how many shots it takes. Just like that. Kidding me. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I was gonna jump out of that. Ah, uh, that sucks. But yeah, as you can see, this game is a gigantic pain in the ass. But not as big a pain in the ass as X2, because uh, yeah, either I'm just going to have to do that one all the way through, or you know, you just have to see me die and all the different uh, breakpoints that I've been doing every single time. Dash does not always work. Yep, like that. If I get another hit on that. So. On that side. So yeah, a lot of charging and dashing, uh, try not to hurt yourself like I hurt myself.